Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I've got Western Mountaineering's three coldest rated semi-rectangular style sleeping bags here. Now I've done individual reviews on each of these bags, but I thought it would be kind of neat to put them all together so that you guys could get a visual on how much bigger one bag is than the other. So we're gonna look at the features that these bags have in common, and we're gonna look at what these bags don't have in common with each other. This bag here is the Cypress. It's rated to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the Bristle Cone. It's rated to minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the Sequoia. It's rated to five degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna move one of these bags out of the way so that I have some room to work. So I'm going to take the Cypress here, toss it over there, and then I'm going to take this bristle cone, move it over here. Okay, we're going to start by looking at this Sequoia here. So all of these bags are semi-rectangular bags. They got a zipper across the bottom. All three of these bags have a circumference at the foot box of 48 inches. At the waist, they're all 61 inches. So they're very roomy in the foot box and waist section. They all feature Western Mountaineering's 850 plus fill power goose down. They've all got a number five YKK coil zipper that runs along the side and a short zipper that has teeth on it that runs across the bottom. Now we're going to look at what's different about these bags. Uh, so this is the Sequoia. It's supposed to have seven inches of loft. It's rated to five degrees. I had mine overfilled and it's got about eight inches of loft. This Nalgene bottle I got in a sleeve, it's about eight inches up to the bottom of the threads there and this bag is a little bit taller than that which is eight inches so this thing's got eight inches of loft this bag is offered in two different models um, one with a microfiber outer shell that's highly breathable not so water resistant or you can get it in this material which is core windstopper fabric also called Gorinfinium. In this bag, I slept in one snowstorm, and I got about three, four inches uh, on me. Uh, it was about zero that night. Oh man, this thing is so comfortable. The Sequoia differs from the other two bags in that it's only got 66 inches only. <laughs> it's got 66 inches of circumference at the shoulder. The other two bags have 69 inches of circumference in the shoulder. So just to let you know, the Sequoia is a little smaller in the shoulders for whatever reason. But this bag is great. I've taken it down to five below and it's kept me warm. Now I wanted to show you this bag next to the bristle cone. Because the bristle cone is only rated... The bristle cone is only rated 15 degrees colder... Than the sequoia bristle cones only supposed to have eight and a half inches of loft it's got at least ten and a half inches of loft so for those of you that have looked at the sequoia or looked at the bristle cone um, i thought it would be helpful for you if you could see both of these bags side by side and see how much more massive this bristle cone is Oh, it's a thick bag, but this thing is un unbelievable. The bristle cone is only offered in a, in a microfiber auto shell. You can't get the Gore Windstopper in this bag. So for versatility, the Sequoia is really nice. But yeah, the Sequoia is really impressive until you pull something like this out and compare it to it. So, you know, this bag is rated to five degrees. Um, for me, it's a solid zero degree bag. Um, I slept in 15 below on this and it was still warm. And I felt I had quite a bit of more, quite a bit more could have went down in temperature before I even started getting chilled in this thing. Let's 
shuffle some bags around. But these things are awesome, guys. I mean, you see sleeping bags advertised all the time, but you don't see stuff like this very often. So, the bristle cone proper, um, like the other two bags, it's got 48 inches of circumference of the foot box. It's got 61 inches of circumference at the waist. And it's got 69 inches of circumference at the shoulders. Really roomy in the shoulders. This bag is only offered with this microfiber outer shell. It's highly breathable, but it's not very water resistant. But what that microfiber material does is it really allows the bags to loft as tall as they can. Because this fabric's so breathable, air gets through it so easy, it lofts in this really pronounced in between the stitching. This bag comes with 45 ounces of down. Uh, all my bags are six foot six. So that Sequoia came with 36 ounces of down. I sent it back. It's supposed to have about 40 ounces of down in it now. The bristle cone comes with 45 ounces of down. I sent it back. It's supposed to have 50 ounces of down in it. I weighed it before and after. It's got like nine more ounces in it than standard. But I just wanted you to see this is a lot thicker than this is Sequoia. And at 15 below, I know I could get a lot cold, could have went a lot colder than that and still been warm. Now, look at this. We're going to look at the bristle cone next to the cypress. Now, at first glance, uh, the bristle cone might look like it's as tall as the cypress here, but it's not. Um, the cypress is still a good inch or two thicker than the bristle cone. Um, it's, uh, it's got 48 inches at the foot box. It's got 61 at the waist. And like the bristle cone, the cypress has got 69 inches of circumference at the shoulders. But I just wanted you guys to see the cypress is supposed to have 11 inches of loft. Up here at the top, it's about 13. And through here, it's 12. And the cypress also seems to be loftier from the waist down than the bristle cone. Even though it looks like the bristle cone would keep you as warm as the cypress, if you were here, you could see that this is just more bag. The Cypress here comes with 52 ounces of down in it for the six foot six model. I had it overfilled and it's got like 15. <laughs> I had it overfilled and now they came back with about 15 more ounces of down in it. So it weighs six pounds. It's got like 67 ounces of down in it. So there's no doubt in my mind that this thing will keep me warm to 40 below. I slept in a 22 below, it was too warm. I just wanted to quickly show you the difference between these bags side by side. And we're gonna put them on top of each other too for that visual. You see a lot of stacks of sleeping bags on the internet. Chances are you're never going to see a stack of three sleeping bags that's this thick. So just to show you here, so this measures about 26 inches, which really makes sense because right now this cypress is being crushed by nine pounds of down that's on top of it. Bristle cones being crushed by four pounds of down on top of it. The cypress is 11 inches, the bristle cone is eight and a half, that's 19 and a half, plus seven for the sequoia, that's 26 and a half. 
and that's what it measures even though some of it's getting crushed down but i wanted you guys to be able to see these three bags um, next to each other on top of each other side by side and just kind of point out the little differences in them um, the bristle cones only offered in a microfiber outer shell the cypress is only offered in a gore windstopper outer shell in the sequoia you can get in either a a microfiber outer shell or the gore windstopper outer shell the other thing i wanted to point out is that the is that the sequoia it has continuous baffle design so you can shift the down from the top to the bottom these two bottom bags the bristle cone and the cypress they have a side block baffle here so all the down on top of the bag stays on top of the bag all the down on the bottom of the bag stays on the bottom of the bag on the on the sequoia you can shift that down around now western mountaineering won't fill these so that the the baffle is full from zipper to zipper because then you couldn't shift the down so these are a little loosely filled by design it's springtime in the rockies i'm going to be putting these bags away for a few months um so i wanted to show you guys uh these bags this is my primary workhorse. Um, I take it every time the temperatures are between 10 and above and, and zero. And if it gets colder, I got some wiggle room there. I'll take the bristle cone. If, if the forecast says there's going to be uh, any negative temperatures, I'd be bringing this. If we're looking at record temperatures and it might go double digit negatives, I'll bring the cypress. Um, so that way I'm going to be warm no matter what. Look, I just wanted to do a quick video so you guys could see these impressive bags next to each other. So it might help you to make a more informed decision. You get a little better, a little better visual on it. Um, so I hope it was helpful. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Um, that'll help me out and I'll continue to bring you more of these videos. So until next one, be safe and have fun out there.